Welcome back to Terraria, Legendary Zenith mode. Been doing a little bit of stuff between episodes here. Moved the relics down here so you can see them all. As long as we are standing in the middle of the base, or the side starts getting cut off. Guess I could have seen total number of these that exist and made the area down here just large enough, but it's better than it is up here with all the later ones getting stuck behind the minimap and going off screen or anything. So, it's something. Also, been doing a bunch of fishing. All these nice fish. To make just so many potions. Also, I'm starving. And here's some crates. All kinds of crates from all kinds of places. Open these up and dump some stuff. And sell some things. Bunch of just the regular ones. A lot of this is stuff we don't need more of, obviously. There's another sundial. Also did quite a bit of just regular old fishing. Or waiting around, hoping to get some more fishing quests. Still hunting the honeyfish. Put some stuff away, put some stuff away. Put some stuff away. Oh. Pretty much all this is gonna be things we don't need. Multiple multiples of again. Bunch of stuff going here. Yep, some extra of these. I don't think there's anything new we could really get from any of these. But we can get some money for it, so. That's okay. Do I punch more stuff right there? Yes. We can just sell some things. Undertaker. We can open these lock boxes. That could be nice. Lots of lower level stuff. From all the things. Still worth something, though, so. I'll take it. So here is enchanted sword, flower boots, anvils, or anchors, all kinds of things. There's still some more stuff down there on the ground too. No, oh, sold the thing again. Whatever. I thought we could have more than one of those. I don't know. I guess it depends which boxes we opened. Yeah, it probably was coming from the fiery ones, so. It does check out. Back in here. Plant fiber cordage. Don't need that. No. A little bit more money from these, but the main idea was getting all the fish. Which are in this box. We got fiery fish and armored fish and crimson fish, blood fish and even fish and prismatic fish and lardy fish. We're making some potions here. It's gonna be great. Also, we got a whole bunch more sand to make more glass, to make more bottles and fill them with water. Did some more harvesting for more of these. Get the deathweed stock a little bit better again. That's a plus. Okay. Make some potions. All kinds of potions here. Got some heart reach potions. I don't think we need quite as many of those. I think we already have like all the heart reach potions we need. Yeah. Those come from other places. So. Yeah, we don't need to make heart reach potions. So realistically, the crimson tiger fish are a little bit unneeded. Let's make the rest of these endurance potions. Inferno potions. Yep. Only did a little bit of lava fish in there. Wrath potions, let us make all of them. 88. That's pretty good. 
Rage potions. Similar idea. 87. Life force. 74. Got some summoning potions. 70. Yeah. That is definitely pretty good. The tiger fish bag here. If we put away these potions. I guess that was something to get rid of this one. And look at what we are lower on now, comparatively. Anything we don't have 80 plus of. I guess Inferno Potions we do need more of still. But we still have 50, so that's fine. We need more Swiftness, Thorns, Regen, Iron Skin, Magic Power, Mana Regen, Regular Seafood Dinners. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Just make a ton of all these. Swiftness, Thorns, Regen, Iron Skin. Swiftness, Thorns, Regen, Iron Skin, Magic Stuff, Bones out of here, Glowing Mushrooms, Regular Mushrooms, <laughs> something like that. Here is some Thorns Potions. Many of those. Some need Titan potions. How are we doing on those? Yep, need Titan potions. Let's get a few of those. <laughs> we are really stocking back up here. Love to see it. Yeah, up to eighty of those again. Regen, Iron Skin. Swiftness. Iron Skin we need. Oh, like. A few more. <laughs> 100, uh, 100 Iron Skin potions. Perfect. Swiftness potions. There you go. Need some regen potions. Sure. 80 of those. Lovely. So we're short on endurance. We would need more of the... Armored cave fish for more regular fish in there. And then magic power, mana regeneration. Yep. There you go. And magic power. Technically, some of these are four minute potions and eight minute potions, but these are four minutes, so. Well, they have that much. Yeah, the limiting factor is currently Inferno, but that's still 50 potions. That's pretty good. We also need more seafood dinner mediums. We can get that. With all the materials here again. Used like 400, 500 bottles. Yep. Yep. And we are, again, Drastically low on death weed. No. We do need to keep a lookout on that. In case we need to make hundreds more potions here. Which is very possible, unfortunately. Shut sure. You. Times it. 4 a.m. Check again. Nope. Move the sundial and moon dial down here. I'm trying to speed things up without having to move around too much to check. More of those. Didn't get what we needed them. That's okay. We can make do. That'd be alright. So, now that we have just a heaping pile of potions here, we can now try to go and use the potions for stuff. Shocking. Next! Adversary. Is gonna be Duke Fishron. See how that goes. My force, yes. Actually, no, man, that's right. Pick more of these medium 14 dinners. You figure out which of the fish was good for that then. It's eight. 
better one. All these different kinds here. Let's grab some of each of these. I think the honey fins did. This one's a stack with the rest of the stuff here. Medium 14. With some of the Neon Tetris. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of the other kinds of fish here, too. Which is very good. Also got this Toxicarp. Which is something slightly different. It's a ranged weapon that fires off toxic bubbles. And then the bubbles go do bubbly things, so... Not exactly the most effective, but it's definitely interesting. Something we hadn't found before. Put that in the weapons box that we're not using. Okay. So, if we want to go fight Duke Fish Run, continuing the whole doing a bunch of fishing thing we're working on here, we need to go find the special worm thing. Down in mushroom kind of areas. We got a bit of a mushroom cave here, which might count as underground, which might be what we actually need. There's also the really low down mushroom cave. But this might count as surface mushroom underground cave. Place. Basically, we look for rare creatures nearby. Very compact in here. Just to move around. Oh, truffle worm somewhere. Not anymore. I think it's be really hard to see with all the craziness here. Also, there's so much like. Fire? I might, just be, I might have just died in a fire immediately. Which isn't exactly helpful. There, there's less lava. Yeah, there's less lava on the top one there. I think we go back that way. I don't want the perform just dying in a fire. That's that's not gonna help. I'm gonna go through here for this. Through here. Skeleton and little honey there. Wow. Problem is this if this counts as Surface. I don't think it would. Or from this layer, down to here is surface. The rock hole exploded. Oh, there's a truffle worm somewhere. I think we need something to point out where. Things are. It's gone again. Might actually be killing it. Which is not what we need. Bats. Truffle worm detected. There it is. Got him. So we might want to get multiple truffle worms here for multiple tries. Probably a smart plan. There's a truffle worms somewhere. Oh, there's a mimic. Both are fine. Full health here. This 
need to defeat enemies. And then there'll be more spawn spaces for things. Shuffle room somewhere. It looked very worm like. Previous sentiment. This way, apparently. And it's gone again. Not the most consistent thing to try and find it. That's right. Truffle worm somewhere? very possible it could be nearby, but actually not that nearby. They seem to be spawning at least, so that's good. somewhere nearby. Sometimes I just kind of scoot into the screen here. If we get close by, we have a real knack for burrowing in. We can't keep them around. Worm-shaped things here. Could also be burrowing, possibly. is some um, more regen. Let's get some regen going. And perhaps some other fun times. A lot of regen stuff we really wanted to. We got a lot of stuff in here. We need to deal with that. Fifty. Bloody grosses. Oh, this little guy. Okay. Alright, I have some stuff here. There's a worm. Drop worm. That's four. Right side. Got an ancient gold helmet. Something. high hopes, honestly, for the fish run. I think it's going to be difficult, to say the least. Sure, we're around here 
somewhere. Good guy. I hear a worm on the ground there. That might also be the sound of just the stuff worm speaking to you. That's I think it's possible. There's a crimson mimic nearby. That's terrible news. Get that one? You didn't get that one either. They are tricky little guys, aren't they? Oh, that's the Crimson Mimic. I'm out. We did leave a campfire and a heart lantern over there. If we're going to be trying to get more truffle worms in the future, that's probably a good thing to have. So. That's okay. Next thing we need to do is set up an arena. Go get all the arena based things that we need. And there's quite a few of those. We're gonna pick up this second bath statue here. We need all those we can get. If we wanna set up a large enough arena to deal with this. Between all the spawns and stuff, it's a bit of a mess. That, that ancient gold helmet's new. This glowing sail snail is technically a different thing. You don't really need glowing snail bait, honestly. Or this bat bat. That's alright. Nothing else in here, it's fine. Are we going fishing? We kind of just switch to. The sword in case we run out of mana. We don't typically run out of mana. Even if we do, with the mana regeneration potions, it's not a huge deal. Maybe we'll just put the fishing rod there. That should be okay. Yeah, we need supplies. Bast statues. It's two stars in the bottle. That should be fine. We got the campfires, the heart lanterns. We don't need. Water candles and battle potions, that would be that'd be the opposite of helpful. That should be okay. And then for construction, should be fine. Got some platforms and stuff. To the ocean. Which side do we want to be on? Doesn't make a huge difference. Just needs to get one of the oceans. Here we go first, I guess. I want the other one. We really do want to not get into the position where we go too far and the screen starts working differently. We're going to put in a nice ow. So, all this. Yes, building anything out here is going to be a problem. I think it would be beneficial to have the ocean covered. Clearly. I don't need to deal with all these guys. Ah, oh, that's a mess. Okay. We got flying guys. They're a problem. Worms. They can go through things. It's gonna be a permanent issue. Alright, this is gonna be a problem. We have a problem and a process. Let us set some things up here. Yes. 
kind of need the wood on the bar here right now. Come on. Do we starve? We're also taking a bunch of damage from everything else. Right. Do we need to block off the ocean here? Ultimately, we will need to fish in said ocean, the actual spawn part. But until we get to that, just not having all that stuff there. Or at least be pretty helpful. Again. Just decide how far over this needs to be. It's like right about here, where it starts getting all sideways. How much total space did I get us? Not huge. I'm just gonna go. I guess it's, it's like a whole screen, pretty much. There's only so much space we can try to protect here. I'm already having enough problems as it is. Alright, all you. This part. Worm. Just dying in the fire. Great. Love that. Oh, you get angry. Blast through them. Right. Oh, Helions. You know what? That's not something I need right now. Really not feeling it, honestly. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. I think having a box might be the safest plan. Try to at least somewhat stop enemies from getting inside, being a nuisance. And having a roof would also help to stop the fallen stars from just blasting us. As amusing as that is. And it is pretty amusing. for jumping and flying around. If we go too high, we also need to worry about the whole gravity business. I feel okay. There's like a middle platform here. A little bit higher. And then a protective roof. To protect from the stars. That's really not what we need during a boss fight. Being absolutely blasted by falling stars. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Right here. So this is far enough this way. That's this. It's good enough. We can't really have a door or anything. Because some of the enemies can just open the door. Fall down from the top. Let's get light to the top here, too. Fish box. Let's uh, see on the mount here. We can. I don't need to quite use that many torches. Just can infinitely fly here. 
Which does have its benefits. Okay. Floor area already has plenty of torches. And some spawns. Which is less ideal. I think we go for three layers here in kind of situation. Let's switch back to platforms. Give us space to work with here. This is roughly in the middle. Two platforms. Maybe a little here. Nice and decent. Just need somewhere to s where we can stop off and be able to recharge our ability to use the wings. There is some do fish run strategies that could be helpful. Spawns right here, though. Sounds pretty good. Something right there. Let's keep most of the spawns outside. Pretty much golden. Outside. Could definitely be a larger arena, but the ocean is itself not too large. Fired upon quite ferociously here. Sticking their heads in where they're not wanted. My goodness. Okay. Also, this arena is probably large enough. We don't need multiple bass statues or anything. I'll just put them both in for good luck. Some campfires around the area. Should be good enough. And we'll put the regens with the statues here. So, one Heart Lantern, one Star and Bottle. That'll be very good. I don't know how well teleporters would really work. I'm not really getting that set up here in this arena. Good though. Okay. This is what we're working with here. Pretty, pretty basic. Pretty basic. You stop sticking your head in here. And here. It's large enough that when we keep running around to different sides of things, we end up having new things spawn. Not ideal. Not ideal. Star protection. Love that. So you're heading here. Yeah, here. Okay. So we got what we need here, basically. We're gonna put one hole in the side. We can fish downwards with it. It's warning level of fishing power. Right, it's still getting here too. As far as where we're gonna have all the defenses, I'm thinking just right in the middle. Seems like a safe bet.
keep luring it back and forth. This is reasonable to me. Well, let's give it a shot, I suppose. The buffs up. Raven out. Water hole. Slammed right into us instantly. Okay. First question is how to dodge fish? <laughs> Ouch. Let's use ocean teleport. I do need to be able to get in here. It's gonna take more than that to get in here. Oh, you get out of the way. Everything else is still here. Jump pile. This is all our money. Probably. It's a little there. Eighteen gold there. I think we're right. Yeah. It's eighteen total. Let's try that way. Buffs up. I think we can probably. No, let's get the pet not hit. Visible here. Oh, you get out of the way. Charging into him ourselves. I don't know how effective that's gonna be. Just go through like that. Wow. Not looking great so far. It's not looking great. Graveyard in here. Great. There's only like two gravestones. There might be ocean gravestones. That's very possible. That'd be enough to count for a graveyard. Gosh, 
Get out of the way. Stop poking your head in here. Too far, I guess. straight at us and kills us. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let us pick up everything here. I guess we just keep the campfires. I mean, if we keep the campfires here, we don't Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Let's play here. Sell the thing. Sword. Fishing right here. Form is more of a boss spawn thing. Put that there. There's the bug net. Okay. I need mask issues. Best issues? Cultist, I guess. <laughs> Next time. Goodbye.